Hi, Jax. Today I'm with the beautiful Beatrice of uh, Mademoiselle Nomad blog. She has been one of my biggest inspirations. Actually, I think Beatrice was the first person to encourage me to write a blog. So it's my great honor and privilege to actually have an interview with you today. Thank you for your time. I want to just um, start off asking you, what sort of traveler are you and um, what is it that you do? Okay, well, the kind of traveling that I do is focused on slow traveling. So um, that's why I started this blog. You know, my name is Beatrice, but I call myself also Mademoiselle Nomad. I love to explore other countries. I enjoy settling down for a little while, sometimes for a couple of weeks, sometimes a few years. And that's because mostly it allows me to immerse myself into the culture and get to know locals and obviously where locals go as opposed to what we see in tourist guides. And I blog about my experiences and work as a digital nomad, offering services like writing, translation, social media, content creation, and a bunch of other stuff. Awesome. So for everyone who doesn't know you yet, whereabouts are you from originally? I'm from Mauritius. That's awesome. I love Mauritius. I've never been, <laughs> but it looks so romantic. Yeah, it is. Great. So tell us quickly then, how did it all start? I started the blog initially as a way to keep in touch with my family. So I left Mauritius when I was 21 years old um, and I wanted to explore the world a little bit because I, I mean, previously I started traveling when I was about a year old. My mom took me to Tyranian Island, which is a French territory about an hour by plane from Mauritius. And yeah, and then after that, there were a series of short trips overseas, which I always enjoyed. And every time I would go somewhere, I always exclaimed, I could live here. What must I do? You know, how could I settle? And I always started looking for jobs or ways to emigrate. And then one day it finally came true when I got a job offer to Dubai. I was 21 years old and I had two weeks to pack my entire life and go live in a country I had never been before. And, I mean, Dubai is a, is a huge culture, ch culture shock because, I mean, in Mauritius it's very liberal and it's open and everything. And over there it, it was just so different. Uh, it was my first experience living overseas for more than a year and I never looked back. Since that day, <laughs> since the day I left Mauritius, I have been living in other countries and I don't think I will ever stop. So currently I'm in Cape Town. And um, so I started blogging just as a way to, like I said, to keep up to keep in touch with my family and that was in 2008 you know when other people other than my mom would comment and um, you know get in touch with me I thought oh why not take it seriously so I mean I love writing and I love to share my travel adventures with others as a means to inspire them to do the same no matter what their circumstances are or where they are or where, who they are and I think you know my blog allows me to do that to spread more inspiration and joy into the world and to add value. And then hopefully my readers will be inspired to reach for their dreams too. The character Mademoiselle Nomad was born in 2014. Um, and I've had the most fun working with other brands, bloggers, and meeting tons of awesome people along the way. Like you, for example. What is your most favorite place in the world? Would have to be in the presence of those I love. Have you ever experienced any, any fear along the way? Fear? Yes. All the freaking time. I mean, <laughs> and I think fear is normal. And being brave doesn't mean you have no fear. It simply means you carry on regardless of what scares you. I try my best to feed my faith and starve my fear. Is there anyone that has inspired you? Yes, uh, my parents. They taught me to believe that life can be filled with miracles. And uh, they always believed in me. So they always thought, you know, if I put my mind to something, I'll, I'll be able to do it. Um, so they taught me, if you simply believe in yourself and use whatever talents, imagination, gifts, or your unique personality, you can actually make your dreams come true. Can you name three challenges that maybe you've had? The number one, I would say, living on an island. I mean, living on an island might seem the dream for many, but what a lot of people don't realize is that being on an island like Mauritius, you are so secluded and far from every other country <laughs> in the world. So that made traveling expensive and sometimes even impossible. But 
you know, as you can see that where there's a will, there's a way. Here I am out of Mauritius. And then the number two challenge that I face would be maybe, um, yeah, the visas and uh, immigration papers. Number three would be finances. I feel you on that one. I think, yeah, that's a tough one as well. If you're, you know, if you're foreign and you're not from here, that can be a little bit of a hindrance. Mm. But I think you're living proof that it can happen if you want is passionate enough and determined and courageous as you are to make it through, you can actually do it. So who do you thank for all of this, B? I thank God always. Uh, he's always got my back. I thank my family, my two cats who adopted me and bring me so much happiness every day. And then obviously all my readers. So B, can you tell us what's on the cards for the future? What do you have in store for this year? This year I've decided I'm going to spend more time with my family, whom I seldom see because we don't live in the same country. Are there any words of advice or encouragement that you could give to other people who would like to do what you do. Yeah, I would say go for it. <laughs> and I would also say that you can design the life you want. So I would say listen to your heart, work very hard, and be bravely yourself. Where can we find you on social media? I am on, well, firstly, there's my blog. You can go to mademoisellenomad.com, Twitter, as La Chic Nomad and then I'm on Instagram as well as Mademoiselle Nomad and Facebook I've got a Facebook page and again I just want to thank you for your time and for being an inspiration 